So here's the Mazda. Um, it's giving me a few more headaches than it already has. Um, I hooked up the battery, the alarm went off, and so I turned the key in the driver's door lock twice and that shut the alarm off. Um, and then I went to go turn it over and the relay clicked and not solenoid didn't click, starter didn't try to turn over, nothing. So, that's awesome. I got something else to figure out now after all this work. So I uh, took a little alligator clip wire deal and uh, went right to the S terminal on the starter and turned the key on and touched it to battery power and it turned over. So I let I, I pulled the fuel pump fuse out because I wanted it to turn over and start lubricating everything because who knows, I don't know how long it's been been out of the car that it went to the junkyard in. So I mean it's been dry since I don't know when, so I just cranked it over for like a good thirty seconds or something. And now I put the fuel pump fuse back in and I think I have the key on still. Nope. Two twenty one, but this motor's got sixty one, so it should be good for a while. But yeah, I uh, can't turn it. I can't start it from the inside of the car. So since I really want to hear this thing run, we're gonna do this, and hopefully it starts. Okay, that's not running very good. Come on. It's got really bad gas in it, so that worries me a little. Oh, we got something smoking. Awesome. Oh, that's just an exhaust manifold thing. Why is it running like crap? I'm not really sure. Well, I found out the smoking is just because I dripped some oil onto the cat there. And I, uh, I shut it off and started it back up and now it runs way smoother. So I'm guessing the computer just had to relearn everything since it's been dead since January. So, And now that I uh, started it up and let it run for a little while, I found out my thermostat housing was leaking. I snugged that up as best I could. I really hope that O-ring's not crooked in there or something. Um, yeah, I let it run after I started up the second time. It was running really smooth. It sounds like I got a pulley or something, pulley bearing going out maybe, but now I hooked up the S-terminal just for kicks and giggles to see what happens. Turn the key on. Look at that.
fires right up. Runs mint. I'm excited. I just got some cheap Walmart oil in this thing. I'm gonna run it like a hundred miles and then drop it just you know just to make sure everything's clean and then I got some mobile one that I'm gonna put in there. But uh I'm excited. And yeah, that was power steering fluid smoking on the manifold. So that that went away now, We're good. this out very well. Small exhaust leak where I uh, missed a donut. I found it later, laying on the ground. I'll have to put that in. And... That's still dripping. Awesome. But I can't complain because all the problems that it had before of misfiring and all that are gone. And coolant's finally going down. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I still gotta, this is my cheap eBay colder intake. Oh, it's really dripping. I have to shut this thing out. But yeah, I haven't put the filter on yet. I was too excited to start it up. Yeah, you hear that? There's a pulley or something going out. Let's hope it's not engine related <laughs> at 61,000. No, it sounds like it's holy. Pissing good, but I've had enough of this thing for one night. Well, <laughs> one night, who am I kidding? Like five weeks. Well, I didn't work on it every, I didn't even work on it every weekend. It was just, you know, when I had time, but yeah, it's gonna be my daily driver here pretty quick. 